Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of the Human Comedy Missions. Today we're going to be focusing on the Trial Mountain 1 hour endurance race. For this race you're going to need to purchase your own car. When you go to Brand Central you're going to go on to Europe and then go to BAC. And then you can purchase this for 240,000 credits. I kept the BAC default, I didn't make any changes to it. The strategy for this race is really simple. We're going to pit every 20 minutes which is roughly every 10 laps and we're going to use the sports soft tyres only. Alternatively, if you don't want to follow the strategy of having the fuel map on two, I need to get uh, roughly 10 laps per stint. You can just keep the fuel map on one, but this means you will have to pit three times instead of two. So initially, when you first start this race, this car can be quite difficult to get used to as it understeers quite a lot. Also, the handling mechanics are quite different to your average cars that you would use around here so you spend the first few laps just just getting used to how the car handles in the corners and be especially mindful not to fully accelerate coming out the corners because this will happen to you one really important thing to bear in mind when completing this challenge is that the ai will go particularly slow when going around the corners so just be prepared for some radical lines when it comes to performing overtakes Now time for our scheduled pit stop at around 20 minutes. Perfect time as well because we are just about to run out of fuel. As you can see we are lapping very consistently in the 2 minutes or the 2 hour ones. So we're going to stop for some sports soft tyres and completely refuel. So we're now on the next lap and this is where the leaders of the pack decide to form their first pit stop. So let's see where we come out in comparison to them once they've completed their pit stop. We do manage to get out in first place and if you look at the delta we are increasing that delta quite significantly. By the start of the tunnel we are about 7 seconds in front. From this point on you should keep the lead in the race so the key is to just be consistent and set as best lap times as you can every single lap so we're now at the 20 minute mark coming in for our final pit stop again selecting sports soft tyres and completely refuelling Your delta might drop considerably to the person behind. Mine went from about 57 seconds all the way down to 12, but that's purely because they haven't completed their pit stop yet, so this will even itself out on the next lap. So now I'm now going to show you my fastest lap that I set. So as you can see for the first corner, we're cutting it quite sharp. And then the second corner we're going over using a lot of curb again. Letting off just before the third corner and then back on the throttle. Just be careful for this right hander, make sure to get as wide as possible and brake quite early for this one. Don't accelerate too much because you will end up in the wall like I did. For this next left hander you're going to want to stick as close to the inside as possible. Don't accelerate too early because you will hit that wall and it will give you an instant 1.5 seconds. But it's not worth it. Just take your time with the accelerator. When we get to the end of the straight we're braking 
about 150 meters before we get to that orange sign. And then we're going wide on the entry. Just be mindful of lapped cars around here because they will not give you any room. We need a lot of the inside kerb here. Coming up to the two final corners, we're going to go as wide as possible and then turn in. We're, I went a little bit wide on that one, but that's fine. And then for the final corner, we're going to get our right-hand tyres over the apex. AI got in the way here, which slowed us down, so we could have we could have got a sub-159. But that was our fastest lap of the race. So we're now coming up to the end of the race and as you can see I have an offset of about six seconds on the delta. So in order to combat this and avoid going around for two laps instead of one, I simply just slow down for this lap, let the AI overtake me if I need to. And there we have it, one hour at Trial Mountain completed. I was lapping roughly two minutes per lap, so I think that was quite consistent. And this was by far the easiest one that I've done yet, and the most enjoyable. And for getting gold in this challenge, you will earn yourself 1.2 million credits. And there we have it, a one hour endurance race at Trial Mountain made easy. Thank you for watching, on the left is a link to an entire playlist of all the Gran Turismo 7 missions and on the right will be the next human comedy mission 